Hey, yo, this is getting kind of spicy, bruh. TMT, the money team, battle league situation is getting kind of spicy, fam. We got Harlem Legend TV going off on Norbs for Norbs's commentary on the money team battle league. I had an hour and a half long conversation with Norbs earlier today after I dropped my blog on Norbs's commentary on the Money Team Battle League. And I got kind of a little bit of an understanding of where Norbs is coming from. But I get where both these guys is coming from. Let's talk about it. Oh, 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 yo, this is kind of wild, bro. This is kind of wild, bro. It's kind of interesting because I myself dropped a blog earlier today. I dropped a blog talking about pretty much the commentary that Norbs was making yesterday on his live regarding the Money Team Battle League. And I felt as if though, I felt as if though Norbs was coming from a cup half empty kind of perspective. You know what I'm saying? So I said that in my blog and I made that clear. And then I actually had an hour and a half long conversation with Norbs afterwards, almost immediately afterwards. I spoke to Norbs for like an hour and a half and I gained an understanding of where Norbs is coming from, bro. And I realized something that I think a lot of us need to realize, right? As it pertains to perspective. The reason I'm bringing this up right now is because, bro, I just witnessed Harlem legend go off pretty much on Norbs and his commentary. Before we go any further, you know what I'm saying? And we talk about what it is that or where Norbs is coming from. Let's listen to what's going on here. I want everybody to listen and let's recap what it is that Harlem legend TV is talking about. You know what I'm saying? Some shit just not tolerated, Oni. Some shit. What if Snake would have won that money, Oni? Like, I'm just saying, man. Like, you got to always think about that. What if he would have won? That would have been bad for his whole league. Everything would have been a fraud. He would have probably had to return that money. And probably already spent 50 Of course he had to return. Money team. Right? You don't know too much about this, right? But let me, let me get into this, right? I got to speak about the money team, right? So there's a lot of people out there making blogs and speaking on the money team and, you know, things of that nature, and dudes is not even, they not even on the menu. Like, I got to keep it real. It's back by Floyd Mayweather. I know the people that actually run the league. So, you know what I'm saying? And I'm on the phone with them constantly, right? So, I want to say this, right? I see a lot of bloggers, you know, uh, specifically Norbs. I'm going to say a name, though, because I'm like that. I, you know what I'm saying? I see Norbs throwing a little shade to me, right? And, you know, I want to say to North Norms, you had your turn, right? You had your chance, right? So, respectfully, you had your chance. You, you I mean, you was in the URL. Obviously, he didn't read. We talk about contracts, right? Because he didn't read his. Or was there even a contract? I mean, so how are you going to teach anybody about the business? And I got a lot of respect for North. I know he found a lot of battle rappers. I know he he's done his thing in his game. But well, let's not get it fucked up, okay? The money team, we're not dealing with. I'm going to keep it on it. We're not dealing with compromised media. I'm going to say that again. We're not dealing with... Hey, look, I'm going to mute your mic real quick. I can hear that, that thing in the back. I'm going to keep it real real quick, yo. We're not dealing with compromised media or anybody that was compromised at one point, right? So what I mean by that is, right, when you was running behind URL, you heard, and you had the banner up, raise that banner, you, you did your thing. I, you supported it. You heard? And then all the fuckery came out about you. You heard? Twerk did to you, salute the twerk. I'm just keeping it real. There's a lot of shit that we don't want involved in this league, right? So when you talk about dudes like Angry Fan, you bring their names up, shit like that, these are dudes that's involved. You know why? Because their integrity always stood tall. 
in this battle rap shit. We're not looking for people that 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 basically sold their souls, and then when they got kicked out the whip, they looking to get it. Don't why are you even mentioning? I understand he's a blogger. He's a blogger. This is what bloggers do. But we here to separate the real from the fake. You heard? I'm just keeping it real. A lot of you niggas had your chances. And all them niggas did was give you a subscription to the URL app. I'm just keeping it real. That's all URL gave you. At the end of the day, there should be no way in hell you speaking on the money team. Yeah, I represent the money team. Facts. I represent the money team league. The money team battle league. There should be no reason why Norbs is speaking on anything that has to do. Oh, make your opinion. You heard? Because you're a blogger now. You're no longer a URL recruit or a URL flunky. You heard? A lot of you compromised niggas, stay away from me. I don't want to know y'all. Don't get in my DM. I don't want to holler at you. I don't want to be your friend. I got to keep it on it. No, I don't want to do an interview with you. A lot of you niggas is on top of the world and had your chance. You either didn't get your money right or you did a lot of fuck shit that made the community turn against you. You heard? Harlem legend is only here to keep it real and say what's facts and put it all on the table. You niggas is here to suck dick. Get on your knees. Yes, Troy, we don't do that over here. I have never been compromised. I would never be compromised. I don't sign for no league. I don't sign for... If the money team do some bullshit, let's believe they on a platter. That's how I'm rocking. But I know for a fact the dudes that's behind this and that's coming in with this, oh no, we here to stay. And we here to rock and roll. You understand? Yeah, we back by Floyd. That don't mean we're going to throw millions of dollars at these events. There's no reason for that. Everything is strategic and everything is done accordingly. My point is this. A lot of you niggas just need to stay in your place. Shut the fuck up. Because you don't know what you're talking about. Please, know what you're talking about when you talk about the Money Team Battle League. That's all I'm saying. Know what you're talking about, please. It's a takeover. Get used to it. A lot of you niggas ain't going to be let in the door. You know why? You know why? Because you niggas is on your knees when these niggas is out here starving. You understand? You understand me? He can't block these kind of battles. So those of you out there that don't know, Floyd Mayweather was the first one to sponsor a main event for the URL. If y'all don't know that. A lot of y'all don't know that. He was the first celebrity to sponsor. Okay? Pay for the battle. A lot of y'all don't know that. Knowledge to God. Salute, salute. Knowledge to God. I appreciate your donation, homie. Facts. Enjoying the show. Keep King, keep doing your thing. Salute, man. We're gonna, yeah, we gonna keep riding. Just like the money team. Everything is authentic. Everybody behind it is official. Facts. We looking to build people up, be, build people's profiles, break new artists, all this other shit going on. These bloggers just running their mouth because they want in. They see what's about to happen. I'm not letting nobody fuck this up. This has to go. It has to. We have to win. Or oh, you niggas. I don't want to say you niggas. The people. The people. Us. We're going to be confined to an app, y'all. Do y'all want to be confined to an app for the rest of y'all life? Keep it real, Philly. Do you want to be confined to an app? No shade on nobody. I love YouTube drops. I love pay-per-views. I'd rather pay for it on pay-per-view that one-time shot than deal with these fucking apps. I, I, I just The apps has really taken the taste out of Battle Rat. It's really watered it down. These niggas is rehearsing. They, they, they in the parking lot. And, come on, man. It's taking the love out of Battle Rat. We're looking to bring it back to the essence. And the niggas I fuck with, that's what they looking to do. I sign me up. Where I sign at? Norbs, mind your business, Norbit. You don't know what you're talking about. You didn't reach out. You ain't reach out to nobody. You know who the fuck is behind all this. You're not reaching out. So don't get up there and spew 
You heard? That's the only thing. Don't paint fake narratives. Oh, you think he don't want to make his money back? And eh? Nigga, I grew up around nothing but businessmen. Dudes that's running this league are businessmen. Business-minded men. There wouldn't even be nobody but our Floyd that ain't business-minded. Period. So some niggas, I say this to say that, right? I say that to say this. A lot of niggas get on these blogs and they just run their fucking mouths and don't know shit. Don't know what's going on. And I've been sitting back. I didn't even make a blog on this. Angry fan, you know, he he went out and did his thing, salute to him. He, I definitely brung him in. He knows what's going on. So anything he say is golden, y'all. Anything angry fan says is golden. He knows what's going on. Battle truth. He knows what's going on. A lot of these dudes don't know what's going on, and they just starting to tag themselves to it. So first and foremost, salute to Harlem Legend TV. You know what I'm saying? I can appreciate the passion. You know what I'm saying? I'm very passionate myself. And salute to Norbito. You know what I'm saying? Salute to Norbs. After I dropped the blog and I had an hour and a half conversation with her because I felt kind of similar to the way Harlem Legend feels as far as how I received what Norbs was talking about. The way that I received or the way that some people are going to receive what Norbs is saying in his live is going to be kind of cup half empty. It's almost going to seem like it's kind of negative because... Norbs isn't necessarily over the top excited about it or speaking only positively about it. So it kind of comes off as not in the best light. So I can see where Harlem Legend is coming from. But after I spoke with Norbs for that long, bro, on the phone, and I didn't even realize we spoke for that long, I gained an understanding, right, of what's going on here and what the disconnect is between what Harlem Legend is saying here and how he feels and what Norbs is saying and how he feels. Because I came to a realization while I was having that conversation with Norbs that, for example, myself, as well as you guys watching me and Harlem Legend see this situation, the Money Team Battle League, we see the situation in a completely different perspective than Norbs. And I'm gonna explain how. This is where the disconnect is, right? Because I do think that Norbs hopes for the best and wants the best for this situation. It wants it to be a situation that does manifest and does succeed. And again, I gained this understanding after speaking with Norbs. I do think that Norbs wants to see this happen and I believe he wants to see it succeed. The disconnect came in where when Norbs was speaking on the situation, Norbs can only see the situation from a business perspective. Norbs has been a part of the business realm of battle rap for multiple, multiple years. It's going to be difficult for a Norbs to look at the situation from the perspective of a fan. And I, I gained this epiphany and had this epiphany while I was on the phone. I was like, oh, okay, I see what the disconnect is here. I'm looking at the situation like... Okay, this is dope. This is a new opportunity, new possibilities, you know, new, something new, new potential matchups, new potential battles, and blah, blah, blah. I'm not looking at it from the perspective of the business logistics. I'm not looking at it at all from that perspective. So this is why I'm so excited about the situation, right? But then, Norbs, for example... When he speaks on the situation, since he's been a part of the business aspect of battle rap, even helped to create the business aspect of battle rap in URL, he can only see the situation from the business perspective. He can only see it from that perspective. It's almost impossible for a Norbs to disconnect himself from that and look at this from just a fan perspective. Which the fan perspective would be, oh, this is dope, this is exciting, new battle league, blah, 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 because this is exactly how I feel, this is exactly how people like Harlem Legend feel, this is how fans feel in general about the situation. But again, Norbs, being somebody who was a part of the business of battle rap and helped to create the business of battle rap, 
when he hears of a situation like this, the first thing that he thinks is going to be the business logistics. How is this going to financially make sense? How is this business going to make a profit? How are we going to, how, that's where his mind automatically goes. And I don't blame Norbs for that, to be honest with y'all, because you got to think if that's how you, if that's what you've been doing and that, if that's what you did and what you're familiar with and what you're, and that's your instinct, that's your mental, that's just what it is. Like, that's just how you automatically look at it. Everything is a matter of perspective. And again, I didn't realize this until having the conversation with Norbs because I myself thought that it seems as if though Norbs is not speaking very positively on it. That's that's how I felt when I first received that live. It, it seemed as if I'm like, it doesn't seem like Norbs is very positive about the situation. Like, you don't seem very excited, bro. You seem kind of just like to be looking at how it's going to fail possibly or how it's not going to. But then I think I thought back and had the conversation with Nobs, and I and then I had that realization that, bro, I get it. I get what's going on here because it's not like me and Norbs necessarily came to an agreement. We can agree to disagree and still be cool. And the fact that we didn't necessarily come to 100 percent agreement was because of our perspectives, was because of the fact that Norbs sees this from the logistics standpoint. That's it. That is it. You know what I'm saying? And there's reasons behind why Norbs is looking at the situation, specifically the TMT situation, Battle League, from a logistics standpoint. It's not my job to tell you guys why it is that it, Norbs is looking at it from that perspective, but there's there's reasons behind why. And I really and I had this conversation. There's reasons behind why Norbs is looking at it from that perspective. I'm not going to be the one to say why. But there's reasons that he is. And there are reasons that he is speaking on it as well. I did I did hear that Harlem Legend said that he never he never reached out. He's not a part of the situation and blah, blah, blah. But there's reasons that Norbs is speaking on the situation and is looking at it from that perspective. But I completely understand where Harlem Legend is coming from because this is how I felt prior to me having a conversation with Norbs. I felt as if though it wasn't in a very good light. Like we were just manifesting failure almost is what i felt after watching norbs's live but then again i realized i took a step back and i'm saying devil's advocate and realized that bro norbs cannot look at the situation from any other perspective bro like his mind and his brain is trained to look at things from that perspective how is this going to make money how does this make logistical sense how does anybody make a profit you know what I'm saying? How How is this going to, how do we build the longevity for this to continue going instead of just being excited over an announcement? So I get, I get it. I completely understand where the disconnect is coming from. And I hope Harlem Legend sees this blog and, you know, and understands that too, that I had to have that conversation with Norbs in order to understand that. Because it was like me and Norbs were kind of like, and they're doing that conversation where kind of like at that stalemate where it's like, well, I'm a fan and I'm looking at it from the perspective of I'm a fan and I want to see matchups and I'm excited about the announcements and I'm excited for the opportunities. But he was on a stalemate with the stance of, yes, you know, but as a business, how is it going to make sense? How is it going to make logistical sense? How does it make a profit? You know, and this ultimately leads to how is this going to be consistent and 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 and, and get that longevity if it doesn't get that business stuff under control at first so i got it you know what i'm saying i i get it i get where both of you guys are coming from bro but whoo man this is getting spicy bro tmt battle league already getting the promo already getting the controversy going bro we already talking about it and it still hasn't even it's still not even an actual physical thing where there's been an official announcement yet bro so this is getting interesting things are heating up man you already know what it is let me know what y'all think of this man it's your boy joe coming at you live and direct from the battle